and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Toiletry 26, or more importantly, what Louis Vuitton is doing right now with their new Toiletry 26, which I think is called a Toiletry Pochette with Chain. And then I think they have another version. So I want to talk about the design. I want to talk about what we think about it. I want to talk about the new price point. I want to talk about the current Toiletry 26, the one that I have. And let's kind of compare and chat through the pros and cons of both. And most importantly, I want your honest opinion on what you think on the new items that Louis Vuitton is launching. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I love doing handbag reviews because I love handbags. I love fashion, anything and everything related. I do comparisons, reviews, unboxings, and most importantly, I love just similar to this video, chatting through the details of some of our favorite fashion houses. So if you guys are like me and just obsessed with handbags, then please consider subscribing. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'm gonna throw it up here, but please check me out. I love to meet with you guys, chat with you guys, kind of go through the things that I personally love and hear some of the items that you guys are picking up and adding to your collection. And I'm always there if you guys have any questions in regards to some of the bags that you might be considering or bags that you have and feel free to always share and reach out. With that said, let's hop right into it. Currently, this is my Toiletry 26. So here is my Toiletry 26. If you guys have not checked out my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier, I will drop the video below, but I had picked up this strap from Amazon and I actually added it to the Toiletry 26. If you haven't seen my post on Instagram over here, I've just been wearing it so much because it's so easy, it's so convenient, and I honestly love this look. Um, I'm going to add my little pochette coin pouch over here from my multi-pochette, and I think it's just so cute, and personally, I actually like this more than the multi-pochette because it fits more. So we'll go through that in a little bit. Let's but start chatting about some of the key differences, and let's talk about a little bit about the history of Louis Vuitton. Obviously, I am not an expert, and by any means, I've never worked at Louis Vuitton or anything like this. This is just based on my own research, based on my own opinions, and I just wanted to have a candid conversation. So I know that the Toiletry 26 came out a while ago, and it was meant to be used for cosmetics, toiletry, so traveling basically. You know, a lot of people put this on their vanity and they put their cosmetics in it. When they travel, they put their shampoo, you know, all their necessities when it comes to getting ready, and that's what it was meant for. But over the past years, we the community and luxury lovers knew that there was a lot of versatility when it comes to bags. And honestly, with any piece you pick up, there's always room to be a little creative. When Louis Vuitton launched the Cousine bag, they had the they had this vision of it with the statement strap and the chain and people just loved it so much. Me, me as well. I was included in that. I love the way it looked. Back then, I just felt like it was really unique, something that I haven't seen so much. But nowadays, I just see that everywhere now. Like Rebecca Minkoff, I posted on Instagram, has something very similar for like, I don't know, a fraction of the price. Um, and so now I think a lot of fashion houses are kind of just like doing their own version. I mean, that's just how it is with fashion. Once something works well in one brand, everybody seems to kind of copy them or, you know, create their own versions of it, which is fine. But I picked up the Toiletry 26 because I wanted that same look, but I didn't necessarily like the bulkiness of the Cousin, most importantly, the price point. And I felt like I could do the exact same thing and can add a chain. We'll talk a little bit about versatility um, when it comes to this bag in a little bit, but and then after that, Louis Vuitton had a bag called The Favorite. I'll drop it over here. Now, I actually love this bag, but when it was in stores, I wasn't really purchasing too many Louis Vuitton items at that time. Never got it. And now I think that bag used to retail for $1,000 USD. And now that bag is discontinued because what I've researched was that Louis Vuitton felt like no handbags, quote unquote, should be under that thousand dollar mark. I mean, unless it's SLG. So they pulled that off and they created new versions. I think the toiletry came after that. I'm not sure like exactly the transition. However, 
If you were to get the favorite right now on the pre-love market, I think they are going for a lot more. I want to say like anywhere from $1,200 to like that $1,500 mark pre-loved. So you guys know how I feel about pay paying overpriced for certain things pre-loved. It depends on what it is. If it's something that is a unicorn item and it's seasonal, it's a collector's piece, I will potentially consider but for this kind of stuff, I would never pay full price for, or not pay like that, double the price for something that is used. That's just my personal opinion. Um, so that's just a little history of, you know, things that were sitting in that same look and feel. Now, they, I think what happened was Louis Vuitton obviously has an apartment probably where they do their research, they monitor, and they probably hop on YouTube and watch our videos on how do we transform our toiletry 26 or toiletry 19 into handbags, adding a chain, adding an insert, adding a crossbody, and making it a full-on handbag. So, I mean, it makes sense from a business perspective. They probably said, we're selling this item. When this to toiletry 26 first launched, I believe it was around $560. Don't quote me, but I think that it was around there. And then when I purchased it, I actually got this right before it got discontinued or pulled off the website. Um, and I think I got this one for 600 something. I want to say like 650, somewhere around that. So I had to pay a little bit more, but honestly, totally worth it. And I think I have this thing where when I know something's being discontinued, just like my bum bag, I have to get it. It's just a FOMO thing. It's just something that I don't know what's wrong with me, but it just seems to be a pattern. Um, so I was lucky enough. My essay is so wonderful to be able to get this piece for me. Um, and then now I don't believe it's available anymore. So Louis Vuitton recently came out with toiletry. I don't know the exact name, toiletry pochette. It's this one over here. If you're looking for it on the website, it is not on the women's section. It's actually listed under men's accessories, I want to say. I think it's like consider a men's collection in their SLG section. So it's meant to be a toiletry, not a toiletry, it's a pochette, I guess. I, I don't know the exact name. I will, like I said, I'll drop all the information below if in case I'm incorrect. But the inside has slots and then the side has these um, black panels. So it looks like they had canvas, canvas, and then the um, two sides, they put black panels. I think this one sits around like a little over a thousand. I personally think it's really expensive um, because again, this was like 600 something dollars. And then my insert was probably, I don't know, $40. So all in all, this was way under a thousand. And this was like $20, right? And you can attach anything you want to it. I saw that Louis Vuitton is coming out with the pochette, the Louis Vuitton, what is it called? The pochette with chain. I think that's what it's called. I'll drop it over here. And again, I saw this on Foxy's channel. She is amazing. She always gives us the best tea when it comes to Louis Vuitton. And she had mentioned that this is coming out and I believe this is priced at $17.90. So you get this piece right here, which I believe is the same size as the Toiletry 26. But in addition to that, you get a size that's similar to the Toiletry 15. So that's almost like a gift with purchase to some degree. And then what they did was they included a chain on there. So you could wear it as a handbag. And the inside over here has actually card slots built into it. So it's almost like a pochette wallet on chain sort of thing. So you technically don't need an insert. And then on the side over here, this is like in a vachetta. So this part's a vachetta, this part's vachetta, and this part's canvas. So it looks like they took a canvas, a canvas, and then glued vachetta on the side, added the D-rings, um, and made it a handbag. So for both of those, it you get it for under $2,000. Um, and that is, I don't know when that is launching, but I know that's something that LV is going to be releasing soon. So thoughts number one on this. Do I like the design? And do you guys like the design? Well, I do not like the design. Now, I just, I am not necessarily, I am not in fashion by any means when it comes to my work, but I am in the creative 
like industry. And I definitely do not think that that is a great design, especially for someone like Louis Vuitton. I felt like they could do better, I guess is what I, I don't know. I have a thing with, I just, I don't like the look. I don't think it looks seamless when you just throw on like a panel like that. It doesn't blend well together. And the fact that they just threw a D ring on here just kind of looks like you DIY'd it, like you glued a little hook on. Um, and the pochette, I mean, I can't tell from pictures. I don't know if the chain is substantial, but I feel like well, what I've seen from other videos, a lot of the Louis Vuitton chains are not as, um, I don't know, luxe as I used to feel. So I'm, I'd be worried about that. And overall, I just feel like the design's a little sloppy. So that's just my opinion. But you guys, let me know what you guys think. I really want to know. And again, no offense to anybody that loves the design. You know, I always make comments on certain things. My initial, this is my initial thoughts. But if I see it in person or it just when time goes by, more videos I watch, who knows? Maybe one day I'll love it, right? So I might change my mind, but this is just my initial thoughts. So I hope it doesn't offend anyone. But number two, cost. I actually think just in general, the costs are insane right now for luxury brands. But $17.90 for something like that is way too much in my opinion. I almost rather not get the 15 or that smaller size and just get the bag and see what that would cost versus getting both. Um, and I feel like they should sell it separately. I actually don't like the way they package it because I feel like they're just doing it so they can charge you more. So that's my opinion on the cost. But again, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that's a deal because you're getting two for one? Or do you guys think it's just like a gimmick to get us to spend more because you don't have an option to get that? Because I'm pretty sure that second piece is bundled in the price anyways. So why don't you offer it separately so we don't have to be forced to pay that price if you didn't want that second piece? You know what I mean? Um, and then number three, what do I think about the current toiletry Pochette or whatever the name is over here. Now, again, I don't like the look of the fact that this is just like an abrupt piece of, I think that's a piece of leather, the black. And I think the black is not, it's not the, I think it looks fine because it's not Bachetta, so you don't have to worry about that as much. I just think that it looks weird that it's like placed randomly there. I don't know. That's just my take on it. Um, I think if the price point was a little bit more, so not in the over a thousand price point, but if it were in, let's say 800, maybe 850, I think that price would be a lot more fair because you are getting, you are getting the rings on the side. You are getting the interior looks a little different. It's not the interior that's currently in a toiletry. So with that, I think it's fair to increase the price a little bit and also just to ma match market prices. But I think $850 would be a really fair price. But anything over $1,000, I think it's just like they're bamboozling us a little bit. That's just my two cents. But you guys let me know what you think. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Toiletry 26. So I know that this is no longer available at Louis Vuitton. However, I am not sure what the pre-love market looks like for these right now. I have a feeling they're probably priced extremely high. If I find some, I'll drop some on screen. I wouldn't pay, I think if I really wanted this, if it's less than, I think if I were to pay like $100 more than the retail, the piece is in good condition on pre-love, I would consider. So that's what I would recommend if you guys are looking for this piece. But they're charging, I don't know, like $1,000 for a pre-love toilet train, then obviously get the new one because you're getting a new version of it with the, all the new features included. So that's what I think. But if you are still looking to get the Toilet Tree 26, I did do an unboxing of this one. I initially got it, I'll drop it below. But I do wanna just kind of talk through the bag in case you want something more detailed because I always tell you guys, I created this channel to give you as much detail as I can to help you guys decide which bag to get next or if that bag is right for you. So the Toilet Tree 26 is... I don't know the exact measurements. I, um, I will drop all the specs below, but it does have a little vachetta here. 
Mine is made in Spain. I also heard that nowadays on Louis Vuitton, they don't have the made in area anymore. I think it's built into the chip because they don't want people to, I guess, judge where the bag is from and not want it if it's made in the US or made anywhere other than France. So this one is from Spain, but I wanna take you through what fits inside. Currently inside I have this brush. This is a Hello Kitty Tangler Teaser Brush and it is chunky and it fits in here. I have sunscreen, full bottle, fits in here. I keep my gift cards and all my miscellaneous stuff in this little per little pouch over here. Dress up your purse, that's where it's from, and I love this piece. They have it in multiple sizes. Reminds me of the Karagami. If you guys are interested, I do have a promo code below. Just to show you, my phone fits in here too. I have the 12 Pro Max. Okay, and then keys. I have my Recto Verso wallet that I keep in here. I have my glasses. These are my Chanel glasses. They're super old, but I love these so much. I keep them in here in case I need them. Have some lip gloss, eye drops, a little perfume. This is my favorite perfume, Moschino. Then I just have a little bronzer compact in here and a pen. Oh, it can actually fit a lot more, but this is just currently what I have in here. So this is what the inside looks like. I have my Zumoni insert. You guys know I love Zumoni. Also, if you guys are interested or you're, you want to get an insert, check out Zumoni. I also have a promo code with them. It's in the description box below. But yeah, this is amazing because it literally has all the organization and it fits the toiletry perfectly. And I, this one is in the custard color because to me, I think it makes the bag brighter and easier to find things. Now, what I did was the insert itself comes with a D-ring, but I actually attached another um, ring to it just because I wanted to make it lift it a little bit higher. So these ones I just got off Amazon and then I just hooked my chain that this strap right here that I got from Amazon onto there. And then I've been wearing like this because I love a crossbody. Now, prior to putting this crossbody on it, I used my chain from my Coach Cassie 19. And this one just, again, I attached it to the D-rings and then I used it as a shoulder bag. Now, I love the look of that too, but right now I'm just obsessed with the whole like, crossbody it just makes life a little easier but sometimes often too when i'm going in the office i don't need this i just actually don't use anything and i just use it like a little clutch so when i'm heading from my office to lunch i will just you know like hold my bag like this and it works out perfectly so i actually feel like this bag itself is so versatile. And I don't, don't know if adding a little ring here makes me want to pay hundreds more. I feel like an insert is honestly just as easy to do and you can just take it out if you don't want to use it. I forgot one more thing in my bag too is my hand sanitizer. I love this one and I don't even know what it's called. It's called the Noshinku. And I love this one because A, it's my favorite color, lilac. It smells so good, it's lavender. And then look how thin it is. So it fits actually into my smaller bags too. I just wanna go through all the options you could do with this. So let's talk about like chains. And here is my bag of magic. No, I'm just kidding. It's just where I keep like a lot of my chains I use. So this is the chain I originally purchased from Amazon that I wanted to, you know, create that cuisine look. And if you guys are interested, I'll drop everything below. But again, this just gives that chunkier look. And I do like it sometimes. But for me, I think after using this for a while, I just don't like anything that is too extra when it comes to everyday wear. So I felt like unless I was like going somewhere, I don't need anything this intense. The Cassie 19 is just a little bit more um, subtle and the hardware isn't as bright, so I like that one more. What I also could do is, and this one is from Next Fashion. If you guys haven't checked them out, they are amazing. I'll drop their information below. But if you wanted, like if I wanted to keep this look over here, but I wanted a little extra, I could actually attach these to the D-rings too, so you get 
you know, your chain over here, but then you still get that crossbody look. And I think that is really cute too. You just need something a little bit thinner and a little bit shorter. So that's a good option. Another option is if you wanted something a little bit more fun, a little bit more quirky, I could attach this on here and then just make this a shoulder bag or just use it as an accessory. But this is just an acrylic piece that I picked up. And again, this one is also from Amazon. And then lastly, if I wanted something really fun, I actually made this one. This is one that I made for my my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini, and I put this from the zipper. But if I wanted to make a longer version and put it on here as something fun too, I could. So honestly, there's endless ways to kind of jazz up your toiletry 26. And that is why I picked up this bag. That is why I love this bag. And that is why to me, this is a handbag, not a toiletry. Honestly, even if I wasn't able to get this, would I get any of the new options? And the answer is no, because I think they're overpriced. However, I still think that there is a lot of potential with them. So if you guys did pick one up, again, please don't be offended. I, like I said, I can't really give you, I can't say like I'm 100% set on some of my thoughts because I haven't actually seen it in person. So it may change. And you bet that when it does launch, I'm gonna go visit my essay because I'm just curious to see what that looks like. And if I'm able to find one in stores, I'll you know try to do a little vlog or get some photos to share with you guys. But other than that, I just um, really love this bag. And if, so let me caveat that by saying that if you guys didn't get the Toiletry 26, or maybe this one's no longer in your collection, but you know it's a style that you love and you know you're gonna use it, then yes, pick up the new versions because Sometimes it's not about the price, it's really about the cost per wear. So if even if you spent that $17.50 for the set, but you use it every day, it's still worth it. So if you're going to spend that money, but you're gonna get that cost per wear, then it's worth it. So thank you so much, you guys. Let me know your honest opinion. Do you love the new versions coming out? What do you think of the design? What do you think of the cost? Would you guys consider picking it up? And if you guys did get already the one that's currently online, how do you love it? Let me know. I definitely, definitely want to know. And most importantly, you guys, thank you so much for sticking through this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.